1968 Hearst Olds. And these cars are absolute monsters. They only came in Peruvian silver, and what most people don't realize is that there were actually two engines available with the 1968 Hearst Olds. If you optioned for air conditioning, well then you got the W46 455 cubic inch V8, and it was a little bit more mild. It had C-casting heads, a milder cam, and a 735 CFM quadrajet. But then if you said, nah, I'm not a wimp, I don't need air conditioning. Well then you got a little upgrade and you received the W45 engine. Sure, it was still a 455 cubic inch V8, but now you received the decasting heads from the W30, the 308 cam from the W31, and a 750 CFM quadrajet. And which engine do you think this car features? I don't see any air conditioning, do you? Both engines had a compression ratio of 10.5 to 1, and oddly enough, they were rated the same 390 horsepower. And hang on to your hat. 500 pound-feet of torque. Inside, you'll find a Turbo 400 three-speed automatic transmission that has an absolutely awesome Hearst dual-gate shifter, and those transmissions were specially calibrated for this application. Outback 342 gears would have been standard, but that's for little crybabies that like to accelerate at a moderate pace. This thing has the optional 391 rear gears. The Hearst Olds was a well-equipped car in 1968, and with that comes a little bit of a weight problem. This thing with driver is 3,930 pounds. Let's take a look at that window sticker. This thing with all of its options was $4,493 in 1968. If you adjust for inflation, that's 38,256 bucks today. And that makes this one of the most expensive cars ever featured on the channel. With a price like that, you might be thinking, geez, I bet they had a hard time selling these cars. Well, you'd be a an idiot. They very quickly sold every single car that Demer Engineering could throw together in Lansing, Michigan, and that was 515 total for 1968. 464 were holiday coupes, and 51 were sport coupes. Superstock Magazine tested one of these bad boys with a 391 rear gear, and it ran the quarter mile in 13.77 seconds at 103.91 miles per hour. Let's check out that competition. 1967 Pontiac GTO. And no, this isn't some peasantly base model GTO because this one's got an L74 400 cube high output V8. Compression ratio is 10.75 to 1 and it was rated 360 horsepower and 438 pound-feet of torque. Even more fun is if you take a look inside, and that's where you'll find a four-speed manual transmission. Outback is a set of 390 gears, and this thing weighs 3,720 pounds, including the driver. Of course, the GTO was a fantastic deal in 1967. It started out at 2,935 bucks. That high output V8 was only another $76. Four-speed manual transmission was $184, and safety track rear was 42 bucks. It gives you a grand total of $3,237, and adjusting for inflation, that's only 28,717 bucks today. High output GTOs are kind of rare, but you can still find them. There were 8,555 equipped with the four speed manual transmission. Motor Trend Magazine tested a GTO with this exact configuration and it ran the quarter mile in 14.21 seconds at 102.97 miles per hour. Let's see what these cars will run today. It's the GTO that takes home the win, running 13.68 seconds at 104.13 miles per hour. In the other lane, the Hearst Olds ran 13.95 seconds at 93.83 miles per hour. A huge thanks to the owners for bringing out these cars. It was absolutely awesome seeing them on the drag strip. Catch you guys at the next one.